Jared, it's Ross Tucker, man. It's good to talk with you. Where are you right now? Hey, Ross. How's it going? I'm actually in my ho- hotel room in Jacksonville right now. We'll be here for the week until, I think, I believe Thursday night. We'll fly out to London. So you're just hanging in Jacksonville for the next four days. That's right. That's right. So what do you guys, like, ha- did you did you bring enough clothes? You guys all pack, like, a ton of stuff? <laughs> yeah, no, we, we, we actually did the trip last year. We stayed in London instead. We went from Detroit to London. So we kind of have a little bit of experience doing this, some of the guys on the team. And so, yeah, you pack a, pack an extra bag, and they send it out here for us. And so, yeah, we got a bunch of clothes, and, and all that stuff's good to go. What do you think about um, staying in Jacksonville for four days and then going versus just going straight out to London? You know, I'm, I'm actually happy we did it this way. You know, it takes a little bit, you know, of, I guess the travel immediately after the game can be tough. You know, that flight's pretty long, especially last year from Detroit. It was a little bit longer than it will be this year. But I'm happy we're staying out here. You know, it's nice weather. Weather's great. Um, sun's always out. And we get to you know, practice out here and then head out to London. And once we, once we know we head out there, we know it's time to play. Talking with Jared Goff, the quarterback of the Rams here on the Dan Patrick Show. Jared, a couple weeks ago, I, I was out in London. And I called the, the Ravens-Jags game. It is so mm-hmm. impressive how much they love football over there. I don't, I don't think people really realize. What was your big takeaway, your big experience last year? What did you think of it? Yeah, I, no, I agree. I think it's, it's cool to see how, how crazy they are about the sport and you know, it's funny, you go to the games and it's it's just like if there was a soccer game out here, I, I would think, you know, you wear whatever soccer jersey you have, they wear whatever football jersey they have, which is pretty cool to see, you know, who they're fans of and, and all that. And it's it's fun to get over there and meet those fans and see how, you know, excited they are. Are you a uh, a trade jersey guy after the game? Like the soccer guys and some of the NFL guys uh-huh. do? Uh, not typically. If it's one of my good friends or somebody I've known for a while, sure. But, you know, not typically. I always wonder, too, like, what do the guys do with all those jerseys? Yeah, you frame them. I've got some friend in my house, but I didn't, I didn't trade them after the game. You know, I'll just text my buddies I played in college with or something. Hey, you know, send me a jersey and frame them and, you know, put them in your house. And, you know, you got all your buddies' jerseys up on the wall. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I, I think, Jared, because I played for so many teams, that the only jersey I got framed was from Emmett Smith. He gave it to us as a Christmas gift. Mm-hmm. I ended up selling that because I didn't really want to put that up in my house. <laughs> who, yeah. who, do you you ha- who do you who do you have at your in, in yours? Oh man! Uh, so all my guys from Cal, uh, you know, Bryce Treggs, Chris Harper, Darius Powell, Maurice Harris, Stephen Anderson, um, all those guys that played with at Cal that are now in the league currently. That's awesome. Okay, so we're talking with Jared Goff. He's the quarterback of the Rams. You're going over to London. What did you do last year in London? And will you have time to do anything this year? Like, did you do any of the, uh, the sightseeing or tourist stuff? Yeah, we, last year we went out, we probably won't have much time this year. We may have Friday, maybe, but last year went down to the city and, um, you know, took the train all the way out there and that was cool. And then, you know, walked around, saw Big Ben, Saw the London Eye, um, you know, walked, I mean, you're really just walking around, you see a bunch of historical things. Um, it was fun. It was cool. You know, we went to the, the big castle and the palace. It was fun. So last year, uh, it did not go well for you and the team when you were starting. How much better is it in the experience just being around a winning team just during the work week? I mean, how much more enjoyable is it? It's everybody's body language and mannerisms. You know, it's definitely more fun. Anytime you're winning, it's it's a lot of fun, and that's the whole reason we play the game is to win. And you know, especially on a trip like this, when we get this win yesterday and be able to stay in Jacksonville, it's definitely more enjoyable. But uh, you know, we're trying to take it one game at a time. We're happy with what we've done so far. We're four and two, but it's early on in the season, not even halfway through, and you know, we got a lot of work to do. In your mind, Jared, I know you've been asked this a bunch, but what's the biggest difference between this year and last year for you personally? I think I've just grown up. I've become more more mature and understand the game more. You know, just understanding you know what's going on and understanding defenses, understanding what we're doing on offense more and more, and just continuing to grow and learn and um, becoming a better player. What about as a team? I mean, obviously your performance has been a big part of it, but in terms of the team being you know so much better than you guys were last year, you know how much of that's McVay? How much of that's some of the other guys they brought in, like Whitworth and Woods? Mm-hmm. You know, where, where, where do you put most of the credit for what you guys have done so far? Yeah, you know, I think it's, it's a lot of different things. But I think one thing, you, like you talked about, you look at is the, the veteran leadership we've added with, with Whitworth and John Sullivan and Connor Barwin and, and some of those older guys, even Roberts, into his fifth year now. And 
so yeah, some of those older guys that we've added that have become leaders of this team and, and guys that you can look to, the guys that have, have done it the right way before, guys that have been on good playoff teams and good teams in the past, and you can look to them for the way to, way to go about your business and the way to handle things. I think it's been awesome to you know get a chance to play with them. I mean, you're still a really young guy. Is it weird to you at all that you've got teammates that are like married and have two, three kids? Because I, I remember my rookie year, I was like – blown away by that it just I mean like they're, they're grown men <laughs> yeah yeah no definitely I, I, I bust their balls about it sometimes you know tell them tell them how old they are and you know whatnot and you know it's funny but uh no it's you get used to it I mean you know it's it's weird at first it still is kind of weird you know when their kids come running through the locker room and whatnot but uh you know it's fun and I, I enjoy it and you know like to give them a hard time about it sometimes talking with Jared Goff from the Rams just going back to the uniform thing real quick whether it's your buddies or whoever, and you guys are switching jerseys, have you been getting a lot of flack for some of the uh, like the color combos that you guys have done, like the, like the difference between your helmet and your sleeves and stuff? Yeah, no, we definitely have. I I actually think they look kind of cool. I don't. I I truly don't think they look weird, especially yesterday with the with the white pants. I think it, it's kind of cool. I thought last week was it last week that you were like the old school Rams. That was yeah. Those are the throwbacks. Oh man, I th- I, I think those are pretty. Those sp- are and I, I I would like to see also you do the, the the what you did last week, but white instead of yellow or gold or whatever it's called. The real throwbacks. Though. Yeah, those yeah, yeah. Like, like the like the way back in the day, like the Merlin Olsen the, throwbacks. The Andy, the Andy Reid pump pass and kick thing. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, yeah. uh, Paulie wants to know how are you on DP shirts. He wants to make sure that you're gonna fly the colors over in London. I need some. I need some. He for needs sure. some. We could probably organize a trade. I, I, got, I got. I I tell you, I got Sean wearing them every day, and and I, and I feel left out. Well, well, Jared, we sent a box to Sean, and I have the feeling he didn't share any with you guys. Zero. He wears them every day, though. I, I'm, I'm not kidding you. Seven days of the week, he probably wears them five five of the seven days. That is awesome, dude. I, I actually I don't like this. Sean says hi. By the way, I told him I was going to go on with you guys. He says hi. Sh- tell Sean we said hello, but to try to get out of my lane. Sean's trying to angle to be like the ex-player filling when he's done. We don't need you, <laughs> Sean. We got that covered. Yeah, Paulie, go ahead. Jared, can we trade on behalf of Dan? Can we trade a game used, autographed next win jersey for a box of shirts that go right to you, not to Mannion? Done. Deal. Love Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Easy. Hey, last question, uh, Jared. We were talking about movies somehow because that's what always happens. What's your favorite sports movie? Favorite sports movie? Ooh. Mm. Well, I think The Sandlot's an easy answer. Um, that's definitely up there. You were you were like, how old were you when that came out? Like really young. I have young. no idea what year to come out. How old are you? I'm, I just turned 23 two days ago. Oh, my gosh. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. 23. Those were the days. Yeah. Sandlot's pretty feel, good. I feel really old now. 23 is no longer a child. I'm, I'm a grown man. Yeah, no, 23, it's like, all right, son, you're in your mid-20s. What are you going to do with your life now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, exactly. Paul, what were you going to say? Exactly. Sandlot came out in 93. When were you born, uh, Jared? 94. I oh, my year. gosh. I'm talking to wow. an NFL quarterback that was born after Sandlot came out. Oh, man. Jared, there's probably so much you don't know about movies and good shows and stuff. There's so much we could teach you. Oh, for sure. For sure, yeah. I don't. I, see, this is a conversation I have with Sean, actually, a lot. Sean's a big movie guy. I don't really get into movies that much. You know, he loves movies, so we talk about it all the time. He's always giving me suggestions of what to watch and whatnot. He's really good with that stuff. But, you know, I'm I've, I've not a huge movie guy, but I could use some more. I'm still still watching some. Nice. Jared, appreciate the time, man. Keep it rolling. It's fun that you guys are playing as well as you are. Have fun uh, in Jacksonville and London. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. All right. There he is, Jared Goff, the starting quarterback of the 4-2 and two L.A. Rams. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.